you're driving in Chicago in your car alone with your double masks on to keep you safe, you're at a red light and find yourself in an ambush. If you are unarmed, here's what you do. Now there's a good chance you will be shaking in your boots or what's known as the adrenaline dump. I say the diaper is loaded. Nonetheless, I digress. Here is one option on how to protect yourself from a sit down position, whether it be inside of a vehicle or maybe at a table. All right, so I'm going to draw my Illinois approved assault revolver. Notice the barrel is pointing towards the dashboard and I'm rounding myself, it's pointing at the steering wheel. I am not muzzling my legs. Also notice my support hand is tucked into my chest and I'm gonna let one round off. All right, as of this point, I'm gonna go holster the gun, guys. Again, watch my barrel pointing at the dashboard, at the radio, I'm not muzzling my leg and I'm gonna go ahead and holster that gun. All right, let's do it again. You're sitting there at a red light or whatever the case may be. Naturally, you wanna protect yourself. Now, if you wanna give verbal commands, such as stop, stop, or no problem, man, I'll comply. Whatever you choose, that's on you. As of this point, my hand's gonna tuck in. All right, man, all right, let me get out of the car. I'm drawing that gun. It's pointing at the dashboard, at the steering wheel. I'm rounding myself. My support hand is tucking in. I'm gonna let one round off. There we go. And let's go ahead and holster one more time. Now, I believe that was the fifth round, so we're gonna do a reload real quick here, guys. I'm opening up the cylinder. Notice my support hand kicks out the cylinder. Now in a dynamic situation, sometimes using fine motor skills such as my thumb could be different, uh, difficult. What I'm going to do is take my, my hand and I'm gonna just slap that extractor, letting those rounds fall out. Gonna retrieve my speed loader, dropping that speed loader, and we're gonna stay in the game, all right? Gonna go ahead and holster and we're gonna do this again. Bear with me. Okay. At a medium speed. Here's some things to take into consideration. Now guys, you can practice this with one of these training guns. They're excellent and safe to use in developing muscle memory. If you don't have one, your finger always works, right? Your finger kind of aligns with the muzzle, so you could do this on your own at your kitchen table or from your vehicle, something to take into consideration. The goal is to be able to save yourself or somebody you care about's life. Ombre, you ever kiss a firearms instructor? <laughs> Let's go get some ice cream, big guy. Hey, if you want to send me some love, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let people know. Comment with your questions or maybe something that you may do. And uh, me and Ombre are going to go out to lunch, get some ice cream. Stay safe, guys. Take my ears out so I can stop yelling. <laughs>